Sec faults usually happen if you're trying to access memory that you don't have. So in this example, I'm trying to change hello. I'm gonna replace the L to space. I first allocate the memory for a string. Well, first I uh, make a temporary variable to point to string, and then I malloc it, and then I copy the original hello to string, which is now an array. And then I iterate over the array. If string is not uh, null, uh, because uh, strings are null terminated, and then it's going to check if it is L. If it is L, it's going to change uh, L to space. But if we actually run it, it's gonna sec fault. And this is a pretty scary one <laughs> because uh, it's not really noticeable. And the problem is I actually need to parenthesize this. So what this actually means is this. The square brackets will hug the closest variable. And that is because it has higher precedence. You can see the precedence table, which doesn't make any sense because a uh, string currently is a pointer to pointer and we can't really iterate over the pointer to pointer. We want the pointer to character. So if you're not sure uh, which has higher precedence, it's probably better just to parenthesize your variables also if you're uh, well let's check this first right and it works just fine also if you're new to pointers you can't just modify char pointers if you if you haven't allocated any memory because if you're doing something like uh, if we don't have malloc here right if we don't have malloc and then we try to iterate over the string uh, compile well I have already compiled it it's gonna sec fault because it's not an array that you can modify it's just a it's a pointer to hello the string literal it's like a const char so you can't modify it until you allocate memory so hope this video helps uh, see you later